should be careful how much we tout the private sector as a solution in terms of pace. I believe it takes time because these things don't change overnight. But I will tell you that in mitigation, in the larger middle-income countries where we need to bend the curve on emission-heavy growth for the future, there are enough private sector investors with projects who would like to be able to invest in those countries. They are left with two risks that they do not understand that go beyond their comprehension. The first one is political risk in terms of either government changes, any promises made are gone, tariffs that we talked about are gone, that kind of risk. The second risk is FX risk. Those are the two extremes. Foreign exchange risk is more difficult to find a, a easy fix to. Political risk, we actually have ways, including getting the right regulatory policy laid out by, by smart ministers and regulators in advance, which is what she will tell. There's a QR code that she's carrying around, which actually is quite useful. And I actually scanned it and took a quick look at the seven papers underlying between the last panel and this one. So she has got something going on getting clarity on regulatory policy. You get that, a private sector CEO will say, okay, at least in Morocco, I know where they're going.